Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is one-hot encoding and uh, dummy encoding in machine learning and how to implement uh, one-hot and uh, dummy encoding using pandas and sklearn libraries. First, we will see what is uh, one-hot encoding and dummy encoding and why it is uh, required here. Sometimes uh, when data set is given to us, we encounter columns uh, that contain categorical features the categorical features may contain uh, the string values for example uh, let us say that uh, there is a column or a feature called uh, gender and uh, the gender has uh, the two possible values male and uh, female in this case in this case uh, both male and uh, female have the same uh, preference there is no uh, specific order like uh, male is having uh, more priority compared to female or female is having more priority compared to male or something in this case, uh, both of them are having uh, the same preference as well as uh, whenever we give such kind of data to any machine learning model, they will not work because uh, machine learning model expect the data should be of uh, numeric data. Uh, hence, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to convert this particular data into uh, numeric uh, values like uh, male should have some numeric value as well as uh, female should have some numeric values. So what we can do here is uh, we can use something called as uh, label encoding process where every uh, string label is mapped with a numeric value starting from zero. So in this case, uh, male will have zero and a female will have one in this case. But the problem with this particular approach is uh, whenever uh, we do something like this, like a male is having zero and female is having one, female will be given more importance or more preference because the value one is greater than zero in this case. Uh, this particular thing can be solved with uh, the two approaches. One approach is uh, one hot encoding and another one is dummy encoding technique. First, we will see what is uh, one hot encoding and how it works. Later, we will go with uh, dummy encoding and uh, their implementation using pandas and uh, scalar. In one hot encoding, uh, what we do is, uh, for example, if you have a column or a feature which is having uh, uh, string labels, what we do is uh, we will create uh, a dummy columns. For example, if a particular uh, column has k possible values, we create k dummy columns in this case or a dummy uh, variables. For example, consider uh, color. It has uh, three possible values like uh, red, green and blue. So what we do in this case is uh, we will create uh, three uh, columns, one for red, one for green and one for uh, blue. That is what we do. And uh, wherever uh, the red is present, we will try to put one. And uh, wherever green is present, uh, for green column, we will put one. Wherever there is a blue, uh, we will put one for blue column in that case. So either uh, we use one or zero, one for inclusion and a zero for exclusion in that case. So this is a very simple uh, illustration of uh, one hot encoding. Let us consider that the color is a column with the three values, red, green and blue. After applying one hot encoding, we will get uh, three dummy columns D1, D2, D3. D1 is with respect to red, D2 with respect to green and uh, D3 is with respect to blue in this case. So in the color column, whenever we get uh, red, we put one in uh, D1 column and the remaining two will be zero zero in that case similarly whenever we get a green in the color column d2 in d2 column we will put one remaining two will be zero zero similarly whenever we come across blue we will put one in d3 column remaining two will be zero zero so this is how actually we convert a strings into one hot encoded data now coming back to a uh, dummy encoding what we do in dummy encoding is, uh, for example, if we have k number of possibilities for a particular column, we create k minus one dummy variables, k minus one dummy variables. Uh, for example, in uh, the previous example, we have three possibilities. So we will create two dummy variables or uh, two dummy columns in this case. Let us take an example or uh, illustration here. Again, uh, the color is the name of the feature, red, green, blue are the possible values for this particular color here. After applying dummy encoding, we will get uh, two columns because we have three possibilities. Uh, D1 and D2 are the two dummy columns. 
so when, whenever we come across uh, a red in this particular column we will put one in d1 and the remaining is zero similarly whenever we come across green we will put one in uh, d2 remaining will be zero whenever we come across blue both will be set to zero the meaning is it's a blue here so this is how uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, perform what is that called as uh, one hot uh, encoding as well as dummy encoding for a given uh, feature consisting of uh, multiple number of possibilities in this case now coming back to the implementation uh, these two things can be implemented with the help of either pandas library or uh, with the help of sklearn first we will see how to implement with the help of pandas so first uh, we will import uh, two uh, libraries one is uh, numpy another one is uh, pandas and then we will read the data the data is present in uh, employee underscore data so once we read this particular data data is present in a data variable here now we will print the first five uh, uh, rows of this particular data set it looks something like this the employee id contains uh, the id of that particular employee and gender is either male female something like that now we want to convert this particular gender column into uh, what is that called as one hot uh, encoded data so what we do here is uh, we use a get dummies function of uh, pandas the pandas has a function called as get dummies we use that particular thing to convert a uh, gender column into what we can say that uh, the one hot encoded data here so how to do it pd dot uh, get dummies we will pass the data comma what is the column on which we want to apply one hot encoding here that is uh, column is equal to gender in this case so once you apply this particular thing we will get one hot encoded data if you want you can print it and then you can see it similarly uh, if you want to apply uh, dummy encoding on this particular data everything is same only thing is we need to add one extra attribute that is called as uh, drop underscore first is equal to true here so once you pass this particular attribute <coughs> you will get uh, uh, dummy encoded data in this case now coming back to the last one that is uh, how can we implement one hot encoding and dummy encoding uh, using a scalar uh, if you want to do that particular thing the very first thing is uh, you need to import a library called as uh, one hot encoder from uh, sklearn dot preprocessing once you do this particular thing we need to create an object of uh, one hot encoder let us say that uh, ohe is the one hot encoder uh, object uh, to this particular object we need to pass the data frame that is ohe dot fit transform uh, df uh, you will get uh, the one hot encoded data frame in this case so this is a very simple process we need to follow so that we will get uh, one hot encoded uh, data here if you want to get uh, the dummy encoded data uh, to this particular one hot encoder we need to pass one uh, extra attribute that attribute is nothing but drop first is equal to true if you pass this particular attribute to that particular uh, uh, one hot encoder uh, function you will get the dummy encoded data in this case so in this video i have discussed what is one hot encoding and what is uh, dummy encoding and how to perform one hot and dummy encoding with the help of uh, pandas and scalar library i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching